Hi and welcome. I'm Caroline Best of the Dow of Horsemanship. I'm here with my lovely partner, Lovey. Welcome back to Everything Horses and More video channel. Today we're going to be continuing our video series called Common Mistakes Beginner Riders Make. And <clears throat> we're specifically going to be talking about our hands today. As a rider, where our hands should be, where they need to be. Last week's video, for those of you that have not tuned in until today, last week's video in our series was about how to ride with balance, security, and confidence. So please check that out. And if you're interested in the full version training videos, which are usually at least 30 minutes long, where I break things down, please check out our Everything Horses and More video library. So in our previous videos for this series, I explained where the rider's leg, foot, seat, and body should be when riding with balance, fluidity, and confidence. While establishing a correct leg, foot, seat, and upper body position helps you feel balanced, centered, fluid, and secure when you're riding, it will all go to hell in a handbag. If your hands are not where they need to be, and if your hands are tight. So that's really important in today's video. Those two areas, where your hands need to be and if your hands are tight or your arms are tight. Today I'm going to be talking about and demonstrating a rider's, the correct rider's hand position and how important your hands are to feeling balanced, fluid with the horse and stable. Stable when you ride. In addition, I'm going to explain and demonstrate how to hold the reins and what's appropriate for the following. The different styles of riding. I'm going to show you where your hands need to be in the different styles of riding as well as how to hold the reins. I'm also going to be showing, demonstrating it in the different levels of training, whether you're starting a horse, warming up, or the advanced levels. And third, I'm going to be showing you the different levels of rider experience, where your hands should be, where your reins should be, when you are a beginner rider, an intermediate or advanced rider. And of course, stay tuned for our next video next week in this series, where I will be explaining and demonstrating rein length, the complexity of how long or how short should my reins be. And of course, I will be demonstrating and explaining the appropriate and safe position or length for the different disciplines and styles of riding. So right now with Lovey, I'm going to show you all the first point that I wanted to talk about or I mentioned earlier, the different styles of riding or disciplines. So we have three areas that we're going to talk about specifically with our hands and how to hold the reins where our hands should be. The three particular areas are going to be in the different styles of riding or disciplines. The second is going to be what level of training and the third is going to be your rider experience. And this is kind of your basic outline um, so we could dive in even deeper than this. But it's definitely an area that needs to be discussed, especially for beginner riders. And I've seen this with intermediate going into advanced riders where they're just not sure where their hands should be. It's one of those things that really trips people up, so to speak, gets in your way. And so let's just talk about that. I think the hands are one of the toughest besides the leg. And the reason being has a lot to do with just how we're programmed as human beings. That anytime we think about things or stress out or, or get worried about it, we tighten naturally. Instinctively as a human being, we just tighten. And especially with riding, the complexity of your balance or losing your balance combined with maybe a fear or a lack of confidence, you have all of these other variables that contribute to us riding with tension in our body throughout our body, but most specifically it seems that the hands are always in control of trying to rebalance the rider, so to speak, or um, help the rider feel like they're more in control. <clears throat> and 
you know, your hands are important, don't get me wrong. And should anything go wrong while you're riding, like your horse spooks or, or whatnot, I mean, you're gonna want to be able to grab up the reins, or you need your hands. But it always comes back to riding with balance. I mean, that's the, the key here. And if there's anything that's gonna, this is a little tip, it's a big tip actually and a big secret, if there's anything that needs to happen or the one thing that needs to happen first when we are feeling unsure, scared, um, something goes wrong and we, we've got to gain control of the horse, the first area that we need to focus on, and this does take becoming very aware, rider awareness as I call it, is our core. So no matter what, I don't want to lose my balance. And I can't tell you how many times when I teach my students this that it has saved them. It has saved their ass. So it's one thing to know about bending your horse. It's one thing to get your horse to stop. It's one thing to shorten the reins and feel like you have more control. But you're gonna lose your balance in all of those situations if you don't keep your balance. So the first thing for me at my level when I'm riding the first thing that goes wrong because there's many a times I'm riding with a pretty casual rein or a loose rein and if my horse does startle or even spook and go forward quickly I've only got so I mean this is only gonna save me it's only gonna help me so much it's not gonna help me shortening the reins meaning it's not gonna help me shortening the reins or pulling up the rein or tightening my hands if I've lost my balance it's not gonna help so the first thing that's become second nature to me, and I've taught to so many students, is tightening up your core, your stomach. Sitting back, like you just saw me, sitting back, not leaning back, sitting back. Because if you lean back and the horse goes forward quickly, you're gonna be off the back. So it's just sitting back, getting that muscle memory to sit back, tighten your core, and then you grab your reins. You shorten them, you pull the horse around, you do whatever you need. <clears throat> so that's just a little rider safety tip I want to give to all of you as a beginner, especially. And it's going to take time for you guys to create the mental, wrap your brains around this, and the muscle memory for this to become second nature. That, that no longer are you, you know, throwing yourself off your balance point and then you end up on the ground because you got thrown forward and you're trying to grab the reins. You always have to keep your balance point no matter what. That's the first thing. That ends it for today's video and breaking down and bringing more awareness and breaking down some of the complexities that we're starting to get into now, more with hand position and of course, how do you hold the reins? And then next week, we're gonna be talking about specifically more rein position and contact. So thank you. May you always be one with your horse and I hope to see you next week.